Hello again. I'm going to show you something a little bit um, higher level now. We're going to look at the distance between two points. Okay, or uh, conversely, the length of a line segment, which is basically the same thing. So if we have a point, let's say here at one one, oh, at one one, and let's move that back, and we have another point at. 3-1, then anybody can figure out that that's a length of 2, I hope, if you, you know, 1, 2, 3. That's just ruler stuff. That's not hard. So, I'm going to make it a little more difficult and say, what if the point is at 2, 3, and 1, 1? Then we have, let me draw a straight line here, then we have this segment to find the distance of. I'm just going to shift it over a little and do my work over here. So, um, we're going to find basically a triangle and make it easier to work with because you always need right angles for this type of stuff. So, that's now a right angle. That's what that little triangle means. And there's a special formula that if you have the two straight parts here, you can find the slanted part. So we know that the length of this side is 2, and we know that the length of this side is 1, and the formula, Pythagorean formula, or Pythagorean theorem, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared which I think is more of an algebra thing, but this is what you need to do it. So A and B are the sides that we drew in, in this case, or really strictly speaking, they are the sides that are perpendicular to each other, that make a right angle. So we'll say 2 squared plus 1 squared, which 1 squared is just 1, equals um, this side that we're looking for, we'll call X. So that will be equal to x squared. Well, I'll just draw the squared here. So then we say 4 plus 1 equals x squared. Further down, 5 equals x squared. And then we're going to square root both sides. So we just get x equals square root of 5. And we now know that that's true. That looks ugly. But we know that the answer is square root of 5. That's the distance from here to here. And if we want to put that in the calculator, we can get a more exact answer. It would be, um, I don't know, a little more than 2. As you see, if you follow that down, it would be like 2.4 or something like that. And that's how that works. That's the distance between two points. All you need to know.